system. How to map a company in SAP ERP. Each company is somehow organized. An organizational structure shows the internal hierarchy and this corporate framework must be set in the system first. This video explains how a real company structure is transferred into a digital one. That's why the equivalent of a company's organizational chart in SAP ERP will be discussed. By the end of the video, you know the main organizational units in SAP ERP and you are aware of how an enterprise structure is established in the system. Let's start off with the organizational chart. Any organizational structure can be illustrated by an organizational chart, a diagram that shows in boxes linked with lines authority and responsibility for different functions or tasks throughout a company or a consolidated group. Such structures evolve, change over time, and there are no legal requirements for constructing them. By contrast, SAP ERP comes with several predefined organization units or elements which are related hierarchically or in a net. Thus, real life company structures must be matched to these SAP structures by assigning the various enterprise units to the system units. And once a company has decided on an organizational structure in the system, it is not easy to change it. Now you know that SAP ERP has its own set of organization units, which must be employed by each enterprise. Let's turn to these organization units of the system. At the very beginning is the client. A three-digit code. It is at the top of the hierarchy and includes an entire group or some subgroups or even a single enterprise. Hence, the client defines the operational scope. You may remember the logon screen where the first field is the client. Within a client, then other units are at first defined and then assigned to one another according to the SAP system unit hierarchy or net. These are all customizing activities. Each application component in SAP ERP uses one or more system organization units. The principal ones, represented by four digit alphanumeric keys, are Company code. This is a legally independent company in the SAP system for which a complete set of accounts can be created and, of course, used in accounting. Controlling area subdivides the business organization from a cost accounting standpoint. Planned describes an operating area or branch within a company. Purchasing organization speaks for itself. Sales organization also speaks for itself. Depending on the field of activity, more units exist and all organizational elements are represented by alphanumeric keys throughout the system. But that will do to get the picture of system organizational units in SAP ERP. To complete this topic, the defined units must be linked. Let's peek into the corresponding customizing activities. Once all the relevant organizational units are defined, it is imperative to create references between them. This is performed in the assignment section of the enterprise structure. It is like drawing the lines to connect the boxes in an organizational chart. As you can see here on the screen, you have to follow a top-down order and within each component, units can only be assigned to each other in a given way. And it is very easy to see that, for example, the company code must be linked to a unit of each component. When the organizational units are linked, the real company structure has successfully been transferred into a digital one. Now that a company is finally established in the ERP system, 
you're at the end of the video. In conclusion, to establish an organizational structure of an enterprise in SAP ERP, the company's real organizational units depicted in the organizational chart must be matched with the given system organizational units. They then need to be defined and also linked to each other by executing the customizing activities in the enterprise structure of the implementation guide. With the result that the system organizational units represented by alphanumeric keys reflect the real enterprise structure. This framework is the foundation for processing business transactions in SAP ERP. That's all for this time. The next video is about data organization in SAP ERP. Thank you for watching and bye!